So I was transferring from the A train to the G train, and I saw this young man standing there with his girlfriend. And they both said, hey, you're Day Storm. We watch your videos all the time. And I was a little humbled. I was like, yeah, wow, that is me. So he knew I was into music, and he asked me for my advice. So I started to give this young man and his girlfriend my advice. She sang and he rapped. So as I'm giving him my advice, he had his headphones on, and I said, what kind of music are you listening to? He said, I'm listening to Michael Jackson, and it's kind of depressing because if they could take Michael Jackson out, then what hope do I have? And I stood back, and I said, wow, this kid is like 16 years old, and I feel exactly where he's coming from. Because if this world, or people in this world, can make Michael Jackson a villain, what hope do we have? Because Michael Jackson, it says in the Guinness Book of World Records, is the most famous human in the world. Also in the Guinness Book of World Records, Michael Jackson is the most generous entertainer of all times. And we know he didn't do it for fame because the damn boy was famous since he was five years old, which makes him a great fucking humanitarian. So I looked at the boy and I said, why don't you just live your dreams? And he said, because who going to listen to me? One of the biggest problems in this world is belief, folks. If you don't believe you can do something, you probably won't be able to do it unless you're lucky. I read somewhere that the human muscles can tense up tight enough to stop a bullet. Wow. So why are we not stopping bullets, folks? Because we don't believe we can do it. And no, I'm not saying if you see somebody with a gun, you just stand there and tense up all the muscles in your body and say, I got this. Ha <laughs> ha! A gun? You better bring more than that, motherfucker. Watch this. Ha! <sighs> don't do that shit. Most people in this world right now are probably working a job that they don't love or don't want to do. A lot of people in their head when they were young, they probably wanted to do something other than what they're doing today. So whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, an athlete, an entertainer, whatever it is you want to do, if you don't believe in yourself, then I'm pretty sure no one else is going to believe in you first. Unless, of course, they see themselves benefiting from your talent. Oh, I'm going to be rich. Little Sally, that's my fucking ticket out of here. <laughs> that bitch can blow. Sally, you ready for practice? It's a tough world out here, folks. I do admit. And I'm going to tell you something. All it takes is somebody with enough negativity and they can ruin your dreams for life. We've all seen it happen to us. Somebody that says something so fucked up to you that you're just like, wow, maybe I'm not that good. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. This is my first show, so uh, bear with me. <clears throat> Let me your ears. Oh, bitch, get off the stage. Why you not at Wendy somewhere behind the register? <laughs> You can't see, you suck, bitch. From that moment forward, if you have confidence or esteem issues, you'll probably have a rough time fulfilling your dreams. But if you take that negativity and you flip it, and you turn your haters into your motivators, you just might be successful. And I haven't even got to the biggest problem on the planet Earth. We, the human race, are some lazy fucks. We make up too many excuses and do not take responsibility for our actions. I mean, I want to be a doctor, but... Man, them books too thick, man. Fuck that. You know what? I'm going to just go to one of those little part-time schools and I'm going to just be a nurse. Fuck it. As soon as you start making up excuses, you've defeated yourself. I'm sad. I'm depressed. And he made me gain weight. And all men are dogs. The only one who understands me is my dog, Poo Poo. Stop that shit. You're sad and depressed because you're allowing someone else to determine the outcome of your life. You turn into the food because studies have shown it's the easiest way to escape the realities of what you see as a fucked up life. So let me get this straight. We call each other dogs, but then we go and purchase dogs. And because human love is so complex and challenging, we know with a little bit of food and shelter, the good old canine will remain loyal and be our best friends for life. Yeah! The average human lives 25,000 days. On the low end, 15,000 days. And on the high end... 35,000 days. And I say days so you can realize it's not that much time. So you have 25,000 days to make a difference, to make history, to get in the books, to say you came on this earth and your life meant something. Well, not really. Because if you count the time as a toddler, the time you spend in school, and the time you spend at an old age, you got 15,000 days. <laughs> if you have a hero, think of your hero. But if you don't, think of the first person that pops in your brain and you say, I respect that person. You probably idolize and respect that person because of something they've done. Which can only mean one thing. Actions do speak louder than words. That means you actually have to get off of your ass and stop talking about it and start being about it. We determine our own futures, folks. 
What are you waiting for? A miracle? Hey, baby, why don't you get up and go out and get a job? Nah, I'm good. I'm going to just watch TV. Shit. Barack Obama in office now. Obama, Obama, Obama. Stop depending on someone else to define you. This should be the time where you're working that much harder. Come on, that day store, man. His videos make so much sense. But you're right. I'm not depending on no Obama. Because Jesus Christ is going to come back and he got everything covered. So I can sit my ass right here. Because I pray. I pray. You got to pray just to make it today. I said I pray. Fair enough. Fair enough. But just one question. One question. If your Lord and Savior showed up right now in this society, would we be prepared? What's up, my people? I'm back. I cut the beard and I cut some shades. As promised, it's a new day and a new era. I know it's been 2,000 some odd years, but better late than never. Motherfucker, who is you? Who are you supposed to be? Moses or somebody? You better go part of sea or something. Get out of here. You wouldn't believe if he came back. Who am I? I'm Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Nigga, your mother might have named you Jesus. Your middle name might be Chris, but it ain't Christ. If you Christ, prove it. Prove it. Proof. I'll give you proof. Okay, let me think. Water and wine is not going to cut it now that you guys got that Hennessy and Ciroc. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'm going to make all those cars on that side of the street move to that side of the street with a swipe of a hand. Whoosh. Oh, shit. Yo, son, did you see that shit? Yeah, don't worry about it, homie. I seen that shit. Don't even worry about it. I got the cops on the phone right now. Yo, yo, what's up? This 911? It's a crazy motherfucker out here throwing doom buggies all around the streets and shit. Yeah, calling himself Jesus. Can y'all get down here right the fuck away and lock his ass up? If an important event was occurring in your life, and it took two hours to get to this event, but the train that you had to catch to get there took an hour and a half before it even showed up, and it was a two-hour ride. Are you going to wait for that train? No. You're probably going to find another means of transportation to get to this important event. So take that same attitude with your life, folks. In your life, an important event. See, my problem is, folks, good people are put on this earth every day. And we so busy in our heads looking for this amazing event that we don't respect what's right in front of us. So many people have came and went and made such a big impact and such a big difference on this short time here and we still don't get it. It's about us. So whether you want to be a scientist, a doctor, a lawyer, an Olympic athlete, a motivator, an entertainer, you got to believe you can do it before anybody else is going to believe you can do it. And it's not easy. I mean, I'm the first to admit that I be fucking up. I get lazy. But you got to think about it like this. While you working so hard to become the best, imagine what the best is doing to remain the best. As human beings, it is naturally in us to want to be someone's hero, to want to live a good life, to want to leave a legacy, to want to make history. In order to do that, you have to start taking action. Stop talking about it and start being about it. I'll say it again. Stop talking about it and start being about it. Fuck this video. I ain't listening to you, dude. You ain't got no million dollars. You ain't no famous rapper. You ain't no Wall Street. Oh, fuck it. What you think you Donald Trump? I ain't listening. Okay, I'll accept that. But you're wrong because if you made it to this part of the video, you are listening to me. And if you measure success around how much money you make as opposed to how many people you can touch, then I truly feel sorry for you. Fuck that. Why do I litter? I litter because if it wasn't for me, sanitation wouldn't even have a job. That's why I litter. I'm helping him. Change your attitude. You're not giving him a job. You're just making his job harder. Dirty motherfucker. Well, that's all I have to say on that subject, folks. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. To the young man I met at the metro station, standing there with his girlfriend. You know, y'all keep doing y'all music. You know, y'all could be the next, like, Peaches and Herb or something. Um, y'all keep it up, man. Y'all gonna be great. Um, to everybody who's coming to 789, I will be there. That's the YouTube gathering at Columbus Circle here in New York. I love meeting new people. Come on out. I will be there. Oh, everybody who's been sharing my videos on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and MySpace helping me blow up, man. I appreciate the love. Definitely keep doing it. That's from the heart. I try to respond as much as I could. Blog TV on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Ask all the questions you want. I'm there for y'all. Um, that's it, man. Love, peace, and hair grease.